If you can't make phone calls on your iPhone 17, here's what you can do in order to try to solve your issue. The first basic thing that we can do is simply reboot our iPhone 17. So you can, for example, press and hold the side button and volume down button in order to open this power menu. And of course, you need to slide the power button to the right side in order to turn off your iPhone. And of course, after that, you will have to press and hold the side button to turn it back on to boot it up again. And if that didn't help, if you still can't make phone calls, another thing that you can do is you can go to settings and uh, we're going to choose general and then in general settings, scroll down and go to transfer or reset iPhone. In here, you want to select reset and then you want to choose to reset network settings. By selecting this option, you will reset uh, all settings to default. I mean, all settings that are related to any kind of network. So this can be the cellular or mobile data, Wi-Fi, and probably also Bluetooth. So keep in mind that you will have to reconnect to all of these uh, things uh, once you reset these settings. Another thing that we want to do is check if we have airplane mode enabled. The quickest way to check that is either by going to settings over here at the top, we have the airplane mode. Of course, it should be disabled or you can go to control center and you should be able to find the plane button over here. So you want to make sure that it is off. Furthermore, we can also go to the uh, control center again, and you can tap on focus button in order to check if you do not have the, um, the, the, the sleep mode, for example, enabled or do not disturb mode or anything else, because sometimes uh, these, um, these modes, these focus modes that we have over here, they might be the cause or the reason why um, you cannot make phone calls. Usually they are not, but you know, just in case you can uh, you can check that if uh, if anything is enabled over here and you can at least temporarily turn it off in order to see if it makes any difference. In addition to that, we can also open the settings, scroll all the way down and go to apps. Now in apps, we want to find the phone app. And then in here, uh, what you can do is, uh, for example, you can use the cellular data over here, although probably it's not really needed to do so. But once again, uh, just for the sake of uh, trying things out, you can turn it on in case it is disabled. Besides that, so we can um, scroll down and find call forwarding and call waiting below over there. And what you need to do is uh, turn these options off. If you have them enabled, uh, you should be able to turn them off over there and then check if it makes any difference. Besides that, we also have calls on other devices, which you might want to turn off uh, just in case, once again, uh, just to see if um, if this makes any difference, because there might be some sort of interruption when there are other uh, devices uh, nearby. Of course, this is applicable if you actually have other Apple uh, devices near you. And the last thing that I want to mention is the caller ID. More specifically, if you have hidden caller ID, the other person or the other phone number might have unknown caller IDs blocked. So they pretty much blocked the uh, every uh, private number, every unknown caller ID to make them unreachable. So if you actually do have unknown uh, caller ID enabled, or the color ID is hidden in your case, then you want to go to show my color ID and you want to make sure that it is enabled. And uh, that's pretty much everything that we can do in order to try to solve this issue. If none of this helps, you can also try to somehow reach um, your career or service provider and then try to explain the issue um, to them. And hopefully, or perhaps, uh, you know, there is some sort of issue with the signal on their side or there is some sort of outage or something. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe.